This is 10,000 TNT, and today we're going to explode it in the nether to see just how much netherite we can get. Will we get enough to make a full netherite beacon? Watch till the end to find out. Okay guys, welcome to episode 10 of Hardcore Minecraft. This is going to be a pretty big episode, we've got loads to do. But first, I promised I would kill the wither and the ender dragon at the same time. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Alright, so the first step is going to be to head into the nether and exterminate all the wither skeletons. Right, come on, we need gas tears. Yes, nice. Two little gas tears. <laughs> Yoink. All right, we've got everything. So let's craft up the end crystals. Bang. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, here we are in the end. This time, we are going to do the ender dragon first. And that should start summoning the dragon right now. Okay, I think we'll be able to survive this. Look how many totems we've got. We got loads. All right, let's just get them all in our inventory while the dragon's spawning. All right, the dragon should be starting to spawn. Okay, here's the dragon. Oh, we need to grab our shulker box before it gets destroyed. Okay, all right, the dragon's alive. We need to summon the wither. Let's do this. Both of the bosses are up. Let's kill them. Okay, look at the wither. The wither's on me. Okay, 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 okay. The wither is gonna be the toughest one, I think. Wither, stop. Look at his health. It's, it's getting down there. We just need to keep on hitting it with these bows. Oh, there's Enderman on me as well. Okay, we're gonna eat this. Let's get this guy gone and then we can focus on the dragon. All right, we need to regen a bit. Where's the wither? All right, it's gone. Nice. Okay. All right, dragon time. This is going to be a lot simpler about the wither. Leave me alone. Nice. All right, I think they're all gone. Now we just need to deal some damage. And there we go, both the wither and the ender dragon are destroyed. Yay, and the portal's fixed. Let's go. Oh, and we can't forget about this. All right, so making 10,000 TNT is gonna require a lot of gunpowder. So I think it's best we make a very efficient creeper farm. And that way we can just collect a bunch of sand while the farm is running. So for this, we're gonna need a bunch of blocks, which is gonna come from flattening out this bit of land. So let's do it. All right, there we go, nice and flat. Well, I guess there's still dirt and stuff there. Okay, there we go, that's much better. Now, when it comes to the actual building of the creeper farm, I think we should build it in the spawn chunks. Okay, and now to find the spawn chunks, we need to break the bed that we sleep in and craft ourselves up a compass. There we are. All right, now if I'm not wrong, this should point in the direction of the spawn chunks. I think that's how it works. All right, so just before we go there, let's get the final materials needed for the creeper farm. All right, let's go. And actually, whilst we're flying there, let's go for a nice little doggo break. Okay, guys, so today, Sandy is gonna be showing you how to follow my Twitter account. And Sandy is now following. And you can follow it too via the link in the description. All right, I'm back from the doggo break. And upon speaking to gamers about my plan, I kind of realized that I'd need to be there in the spawn chunks to actually AFK at the mob farm. Otherwise, no mobs would spawn. So. We kind of don't even need to build it at the spawn chunks. And it might just be easier to build it somewhere closer by. I think somewhere in this ocean would be a good place. Because obviously there'd be way less spawns. And this ocean is absolutely massive. Alright, so if you didn't know, creeper farms need cats. So we're going to build it somewhere close to this village. Alright, I'm thinking about here looks good. Alright, this looks about high enough. Now we need to start building the actual farm. So this bit's going to be the collection chamber. So we need hoppers going into each one of these chests. And these should be able to hold like all of the gunpowder. Then we'll chuck some campfires on here to actually kill the creepers. And then we'll surround the kill chamber with glass. Just so the creepers can't escape and we don't lose any of the items. Alright, there we go. The kill chamber's looking all complete. Now it's actually time to build the spawning platform. So let's get to work. Uh, that doesn't look right. Okay, so this is basically what the spawning platform is going to look like. It's going to have a bunch of trap doors everywhere, so only creepers spawn here. And of course, we're going to have cats there, 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 and there to scare all the creepers into coming down here and getting killed for their juicy gunpowder. So for now, we're going to head back and grab a bunch more wood because we definitely didn't bring enough. And then we're going to place in a bunch of trap doors. All right, and now let's add a bunch of trap doors.
And these trapdoors in the middle that look like a weird cross will hopefully help the creepers fall straight into the water. And now we need to make a bunch of sheep naked. Okay, and then I'm going to make some carpet with the wool and place some carpet here, here, and here. And this is going to prevent any spiders from spawning. So let's just do this on all four sides. There we are. And now it's time to start thinking about getting some cats. And of course, to tame some cats, we're going to need to get some fish. It's kind of satisfying killing fish. Trying to get away. I don't think so. You're all going to die. All right, now it's time to find some cats. I usually kill them. But this time, we are going to tame them. Oh, cats, where are you? Come here. Come here. No, I'm not going to kill you this time. I want to tame you. Yes. Okay, we've got a cat. Okay, I'm going to put all my cats here for now. Let's try and find another one. Cats. Cats. Any cats in the house? Why are there no cats? Excuse me, sir. Have you seen any cats? All right, I don't want to kill you because that would start a raid. Okay, just going to leave you down there. Look at them all up there. Maybe my cat can help me find more cats. Please help. Why is there no cats? Day two of cat searching. Still no sign and I'm beginning to lose my mind. Wait, I think I've just seen another cat. Right, skeleton. Oh, there he is. Come here. Just eat the fish. Yes. Okay, we got another cat. Okay, now we just need to figure out a way to actually bring them to the creeper farm. All right, I'm going to build a path from here all the way to over there. All right, the path is set up. Let's see if we can actually transport these cats. All right, come on, guys. Hello? Yes, good cat. Why are the other two cats stupid? Nice. Keep coming. Don't stop. Don't fall off. Don't fall off, please. Will the cat teleport up here? This is the moment of truth. Yes, he's here. Okay, nice. Now we just need to get the other cat up here. All right, this is going to take a little bit, so I'll see you guys once this is done. Okay, so we've now got all the cats up here. We're going to put one on each of the trapdoors, and we're going to start breeding them. And whilst we're breeding them, we're going to build a bunch more of these layers so we can increase the amount of gunpowder we can get per hour exponentially. This is going to take a long time, so let's get to work. All right, guys, so as you can see, the creeper farm is now fully functional. This took absolutely ages to build. And now the last thing that we need to do is actually build the AFK spot. So I've got this scaffold in, and if we go like that, then if we build a nice little AFK spot here, we should be able to collect loads of gunpowder. And now we get to break this. Very nice. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> so many. All right, we're going to get so much gunpowder. All right, so to get 50,000 gunpowder, which is what we need for all the TNT, we need something like 14.5 double chests. And as you see here, we've only got four. So we need to expand the storage system. All right, there we go. We've got a very, very big storage system now. 16 double chests which should be more than enough to store 50,000 gunpowder. Now it's time to go AFK for an hour and see just how much gunpowder we can get. Okay, guys, I'm back after a nice little AFK session. Let's go and see how much gunpowder we've got. Oh, that is a lot of gunpowder. So after that little test, just to make sure it's working, I'm now going to do an even bigger AFK session overnight. Well, like overnight in the real world. And hopefully by the time I wake up, we should have enough gunpowder to make 10,000 TNT. So I'll see you guys tomorrow or in about two seconds for you guys. All right, guys. So it's been a lot longer than I said it would be. I think it's been like 18 or so hours, but we now have a lot of gunpowder. I think this is definitely going to be enough for 10,000 TNT. The next step will be getting absolutely tons of sand. But we've got something else to do first. And for that thing, we need to head over to the raid farm we built in the last episode. Okay, so in raids, you get a lot of totems. But you also get a lot of saddles. So we're going to grab a few of these. And we're finally going to tame ourselves a nice little horse. And hopefully this time we don't burn it to death in lava. Here's one. Oh, he looks sick. Oh, he's got a decent amount of health. All right, we've got him. It seems decently fast. How 
How can he jump? He can barely jump two blocks. Ah, oh, screw it. Yeah, I think we'll keep this one. He looks pretty cool, and we'll get him some diamond horse armor once we find some. Leave me some name suggestions in the comments down below, and I'll pick my favorite one next episode. We can't call him Keith again. All right, and this time we'll keep him safe inside our house so he can't suffocate in the snow. Wait, can he burn to death on the campfire? Yes, he can. Okay, uh, this isn't as safe as I thought. Okay, this is pretty safe. You can stay here with the villagers. All right, look after him, okay? Look at me. Look after the horse. And actually, whilst we're here, we might as well go check up on the villager prison and see how my prisoners are doing. Got these guys just hanging out under the stairs. The librarians and the Fletchers are definitely the most useful. These guys just, just know. Actually, we're gonna need loads of good shovels. So let's get enchanting. Where is our lapis? There it is. All right, and let's try and get a decent level of efficiency on all of these. All right, nice, there we go. All right, now we need to find the closest desert possible to this creeper farm. I don't think this is 50,000 sand blocks, but it's definitely a start. And let's do this. Okay, and then once our shulker boxes are full, we'll head back to the gunpowder farm and craft up as much TNT as possible. Okay, there's our first 100 TNT. Just 9,900 more to go. Yeah, so this is gonna be my life for the next few hours. Collecting sand, flying to the farm, and crafting up TNT. Okay guys, we are back and it's finally time for the fun part. We have three double chests full of TNT and it's time to take it all into the nether and explode it to get some juicy netherite. But first, quickly, I just want to make our shulker boxes a bit more fitting. There we go. Oh my god, they look so cool. Let's load them up with TNT and let's head into the nether. All right, it looks like we're quite high up. Then we need to dig down to Y level 15. All right, here we are, Y level 15. Now I want you guys to guess in the comments how many pieces of ancient debris you think we'll be able to get. I'm gonna guess over 1,000. So the first thing I'm gonna do is dig a two by two tunnel 1,000 blocks long. And then we're gonna place TNT one apart all along one side and then light it once we get back to this place. Oh my God, we found some Rava actually blowing up any TNT. Okay, so I've dug this tunnel about 500 blocks long. We're going to grab some TNT and we're going to place it all along this wall. I think first we'll try it without any gaps and then eventually we'll go like this and stuff like that. Okay, let's get our totem equipped just in case. Let's do this. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, let's get mining. Oh my god, this was a three vein. That's pretty good. A few more. All right, so from that 500 TNT, we only actually ended up getting about 37 ancient debris. And a lot of that was due to lava lakes being absolutely everywhere down here. So we're gonna hope for less of them and continue blowing up some TNT. All right, this time I'm gonna try laying out the TNT like this. Maybe we'll be able to find more ancient debris like this. Let's find out. All right, here we go. Oh, great, more lava. Ooh. Okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna chuck a bunch of TNT everywhere here and then explode it and see how much netherite we can get. All right, let's go. Ah. Oh, these lava lakes are so annoying. Yeah, this is a big hole.
Okay, guys, we are back. And as you can see, all the TNT has been exploded. And are you ready for the final results? This is how much ancient debris we managed to get with 10,000 TNT. So I think it's about 692, which is pretty close to what I guessed. Now let's go and turn it into netherite and see how many netherite blocks we can make. Actually, why was I going to fly? It's way quicker to go through the nether. And then we just fly over here, straight into this portal. <laughs> and bang, we're pretty much home. Yeah, we need to make a nether hub at some point. Maybe next episode. All right, here we go. There's all our gold. And if we grab some coal, then head over to our nice little super smelter. We can turn this stuff into raw gold. Chuck that all in there. And let's get some gold. Ooh, look at all that gold. All right, and we can also grab our ancient debris and chuck it in the super smelter to make some netherite scraps as well. All right, we've got everything. Let's craft it all up. This is going to be the most netherite I've ever had. 14 netherite blocks. Well, it's definitely not enough for a beacon. Hold on a sec. Yoink. There we go. We have a netherite beacon. It's not the most big, but it's still pretty cool. And this is the most netherite I've ever had. So I'm pretty happy. So there we go. We can turn our tools into netherite. There we go. And this is what happens if you explode 10,000 TNT in the nether. Thank you for watching.